the first step of glycolysis involves the phosphorylation of glucose forming glucose 6-phosphate, which has three main paths. It can be converted to fructose 6-phosphate and continue with glycolysis. It can also be converted to glucose 1-phosphate and stored as glycogen. The third alternative fate for glucose 6-phosphate is the oxidation of glucose 6-phosphate to pentose phosphates by the pentose phosphate pathway, also called the phosphogluconate pathway or the hexose monophosphate pathway. The first four steps of pentose phosphate pathway is known as the oxidative phase. First, glucose 6-phosphate is oxidized by glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase to form 6-phosphogluconodelta-lactone, which is an intramolecular ester. It is coupled to the reduction of NADP plus to NADPH. Next, the lactone is hydrolyzed to the free acid 6-phosphogluconate by a specific lactonase. Then, 6-phosphogluconate undergoes oxidation and decarboxylation by 6-phosphogluconate dehydrogenase, forming the ketopentose rebulose 5-phosphate. This reaction is also coupled to the reduction of NADP to NADPH. Next, phosphopentose isomerase converts rebulose 5-phosphate to its aldose isomer ribose 5-phosphate, which concludes the oxidative phase of pentol phosphate pathway, which converts glucose 6-phosphate to ribose 5-phosphate with a net production of 2 NADPH. NADPH serves two important functions in our body. It can protect our cells against highly reactive oxygen derivatives. The oxidation of NADPH can be coupled to the reduction of glutathione by the enzyme glutathione reductase. Then, the oxidation of glutathione can be coupled to the reduction of hydrogen peroxide, which is a reactive oxygen species, to water by the enzyme glutathione peroxidase. The oxidation of NADPH also plays an important role in the reductive biosynthesis of fatty acids, cholesterol, and steroid hormones. Ribose 5-phosphate is an important precursor to purine biosynthesis. It is first converted to phosphoribosylpyrophosphate or PRPP by the enzyme PRPP synthetase. Then PRPP is converted to 5-phosphoribosylamine by glutamine BRPP amidotransferase. Phosphoribosylamine is then converted to inosine monophosphate through a series of 9 steps, which give rise to AMP and GMP. PRPP is also a precursor to the amino acid histidine, which can be converted to histamine, a neurotransmitter and local regulator involved in various immune response as well as allergic reaction. Deficiency in glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase can result in red blood cell breakdown following a specific trigger, such as certain medication stress or foods such as fava beans, a condition known as favism. The second half of pentose phosphate pathway is known as the non-oxidative phase. It mainly recycles pentose phosphates to glucose 6-phosphate. First, rebulose 5-phosphate is converted to cellulose 5-phosphate by the enzyme rebulose 5-phosphate epimerase. Then, a series of steps catalyzes the rearrangements of carbon skeletons. First, transketolase transfer carbon-1 and carbon-2 of cellulose 5-phosphate to ribose 5-phosphate, forming the 7-carbon product cetoheptulose 7-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Transketolase requires the cofactor thiamine pyrophosphate or TPP, which stabilizes a 2-carbon carbanion in this reaction. Next, transaldolase catalyzes the conversion of cetoheptulose 7-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate and the tetrose erythrose 4-phosphate. Then, transketolase acts again, converting erythrose 4-phosphate and cellulose 5-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Both products can be converted back to glucose 6-phosphate through gluconeogenesis. The intermediate erythrose 4-phosphate can combine with phosphoenopyruvate to form aromatic amino acids phenylalanine, tryptophan, and tyrosine. Lastly, a severe deficiency of thymine, a component of TPP, can lead to Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, and it can be exacerbated by a mutation in transketolase that results in an enzyme with a lower affinity for TPP, worsening the symptoms of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, including severe memory loss, mental confusion, and partial paralysis.